You are now hearing the last command. From then on, the silent drill company of the BMA for Balasi class of 2019 will proceed with the drill without further command. There are two components of light in the earth that affects our being, the light and the dark. Equally, they glitch, neutralize, and match the way the balance. Opposite and complementary forces, which means shaded and sunny. Black and white, two shades indicate balance between two, ensure interconnection and harmony in our natural worlds. They combine in various proportions to produce all the different things in the universe. This is a kind of transition, a kind of evolution. The life we led outside, even before entering the academy, was a far cry from the regimented life that we live right now. But then, this is our fate. The life lived created the difficult paths, rather than the one that strays on the easier ways. That is for the change of colors correspond. The alternate switching of colors, black and white, symbolizes the process of change that each cadet must undergo. Once a simple dream, now a living reality, as we press forward to achieve a common goal. The diversity of our country's different cultures now unite under one purpose, to become the leaders our country needs in times of adversity. The Academy, steeped with traditions that develop the cadets to become persons of general breeding and strong character. To this day, and even until we have shed our uniforms, we carry in our hearts the sacred coat of arms, the seal of our covenant, our direction and only path that bears the guiding light. The guideline of courage, integrity, and loyalty. This is what the big arrow is all about. An arrow, when made to be perfect and straight, flies true to its target. It is a constant reminder to continually move forward towards the direction of our hopes, dreams, and aspirations. It also brings towards you our fellow Filipinos who we promise to serve. This formation is our covenant as future leaders and guardians of the state. Cadets, even for your vigorous military training, stay to be young gentlemen and ladies. The principles that were let seek carry out, the similarity and the decorum shape their being. Component of their education inside the academy is a management of time. As visitors may seem, cadets are not refined and sociable, but they always sense the affection of their welcome through greetings and felicitations. Get its bearing and conduct may lead you to regard them as golden heart, but actually, they also take secret implications of life. At the rear of their groups uniforms, our vulnerable people who remain the same as they always have been. This is shown as it turns for the cheerful letters. H and I, hi. Welcome to the final exhibition of the beginning of the last class of 2019. By the year 2028, the Academy aims to achieve the standard of being a world-class Academy a country could be proud of. Having the common goal of creating the forthcoming leaders of our nation, obtaining the character, attitude, and refinement, Heeding to the Academy's ideals, we continuously strive to maintain excellence as a way of life, always making sure that things are accomplished in the best and most effective manner possible. Consequently, while inside the threshold of this great institution,
the events must balance the challenging physical training and the mind-boggling academics while maintaining their character, preparing them for the future tasking as well-rounded leaders in the armed forces of the Philippines. From the origins of VMA in 1998, it has created graduates who have suddenly surrendered to war for the welfare of our country. The Academy has remained steadfast to its mission to instruct, train, and develop the cadets so that each graduate shall possess the character, the broad and basic military skills, and education essential to a successful pursuit of a progressive military career as a ball center leader and selfless service to the armed forces of the Philippines and the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the letters of distinction. P, M, and A. The drillers emphasize the letters through a series of metal rocks. Started with B, then M, then A. The drillers acknowledge honor and stand by the responsibility that comes with it as they execute a salute. To the Philippine Military Academy. Three words generally embedded in the heart of each of them. Three words that are consciously protected against impurity and destruction. Words with their passive, no worthless intellections. They are not even simply words. They are the guideline that lights the path of achievement and honor. As cadets travel across the land of deception to reach the goal of his ambitions. They create the balance that equals the scale for the need of one is demeanor. This harmony of viral qualities is the basic support of cadets' character. C, I, and L. Courage, integrity, and loyalty. Each in concurrence with other two. Performs as the world stronghold that defends the mind of each cadet against the corruptive influences of the world. Every cadet, upon his entry to the academy, is bound to the purpose he has dedicated himself to. Each year, a cadet finishes in the academy, brings him closer to the dream of being a sturdy officer in our modernizing armed forces. Hence, graduating is a must. This is the knowledge which you must possess even before entering the academy. Acknowledging the hardships traversed by those who came before us, we realize that boundless sacrifices are a necessity to reach our definitive aim. Nonetheless, Every step made closer to our goal is worth every effort. This is represented by a triangle formation, also known as the Vix, symbolizing the rank of a lieutenant, the role we accept as we proceed to a new life after graduating in the academy. The standard of perfection that the Academy promotes upon each cadet refers to the quality of officers the Philippine Military Academy produces. As such, the fundamental objective of the Academy is to develop the values and character of each cadet. For us to become men and women standing upright as the noble dwellers of this institution. This perfection is displayed as we dedicate our lives in the service of the country. Such is the message that lies behind the concentric circles, defining the hearts and souls of each cadet. We are bound to the less pressure, and yet, we develop a sense of integrity among us. Watch them as they move outwards to show you. The planting of rifles. 
Here, the cadets raise their rifles, waiting for landing. Just in time for the next one to pick up. Now the cadets are marching to the other side, preparing their rifles again for planting. Keeping their pace, they pay attention to the details of their actions. Moving and turning outwards. The drillers will show you another drill. The passing of rifles. These exhibitions synchronize the sharing and helping among the cadets. Every cadet is out to reach the hands of those in need. Cooperation and coordination is the key to aesthetic result. The drillers will now show you an exhibition that shows the ability of the cadets to work while being concerned to the natural surroundings. Now, watch them as they perform. The throwing of rifles. This exhibition coordinates the cadets' ability to be attentive in various activities. A single mistake will destroy the whole performance. A second delay will cause injury to the next person, which simply means that we are like chains. Embodied as one, each link plays a vital role in the long range of service in our institution. With all those countless drills and parades, oh. and the supplies and robotic academics, one could see the joyful prize swelling in our hearts. The ever brilliant sun as the shiny celestial body around the earth has served as a bright beacon of our land. Such is the role of a servant leader to be the guiding light for us, the future, as catalyst of change. Our role as cadets is to let ourselves be molded through the bright sunshine of education given by the Academy. As mandated by our Constitution, the Armed Forces of the Philippines serves as the only yet brilliant shield of the citizens and the state. Its function is to support the dominion of the space and veracity of our national territory. The Varekasa is what the cadets are trained for, the responsibility to dole out and stimulate the people's mind with integrity and nationalism. The drillers, as young members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, aims to be the hearts of the Filipino people as you try to form the letters. A, F, and D. The culmination of years in a military institution for measured and regulated existence is strictly followed. The company now gives salute to the armed forces of the Eventually, these students will become officers, and what you have learned and trained to do will now be applied to the service of the Filipino people. This will be our commitment to you, to give us a bright future and a chance for change for this land. People do not remember days, we remember moments. Every moment is precious to those who know the value of time. The irony of time is that it is free for everyone, but at the same time, it is priceless. One couldn't own time, but one could use it. One couldn't keep it, but he can spend it. And once you have lost time, you can never get it back. This is what makes time valuable. Time is an important aspect in a cadet's life. Here in the academy, time never seems to be enough. From the first bugle at dawn to the last note of the trumpet at night, everything seems to be constrained and bounded by time. Not being on time can result to different consequences. 
A minute or two of delay may affect not only the cadet, but the core in general. That is why, here in the Academy, every second counts. This teaches us that time is an important matter. Thus, we are taught the virtue of punctuality as a genuine trait of true gentlemen and ladies. Keep in mind that all our actions are interconnected. A cadet being on time shows a sense of responsibility and respect for other people's time. We are now part of a breed of people who live around the clock, by the clock, and with the clock. Now watch the cadets as they move in oneness like a clock. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can check your time, it is now 19 minutes past the hour of 10. Of all our being, there is a soul component to select the works and provides our existence. Disregarding its size, what is essential is, it provides and connects itself to each part of our system to sustain life. A person's heart is not only a size of a fist, and a muscle that pumps blood and nourishment. It is also the core of our feelings, sentiments, and passions. The cadets may not be identified as warm and loving persons, but behind our appearance, we are the ones who avoid our own comfort at the expense of others. Deep within the heart of every cadet, like his or her ideals and aspirations. In addition, as cadets, it is in our hearts where everyone can see the true significance of courage, integrity, and loyalty. As you can see now, this heart is composed of the proud members of the PMA Mabalasi class of 2019 with an ever-blazing heart to serve. The nation! To our visitors and friends, this heart is for you. No matter how hard or discouraging the situation may be, we know that our faith in God will carry us through even the most difficult situation. It is through Him, with Him, and in Him that we are able to carry out our responsibilities, even if others may deem it impossible. The cross before you symbolizes our unwavering faith to our Creator, the source of our strength and inspiration to serve the nation. It is in His hands that we continue to place our trust in Him, to be able to wholeheartedly heed to our calling. Cadets are featured as two and filling individuals who are not familiar with the word love. However, Nothing can be parted from the truth. In reality, cadets are sensitive individuals who need and want love. Your letters, emails, phone calls, visits, and text messages give us the strength and inspiration to go on performing the demanding duties of a cadet. As long as we know that the love you gave us for me, right or true. The truth is spoken the words, I love you. We give our love to you, our dearest one.
mabalasik, mandirig manampayan, lakas at sarili, iaalay para sa kapayapaan. This is our class name. It is what we stand for. We are the race of fearless warriors, emanated from all corners of the land. To lead to our call to become the leaders our country needs. Standing by our firm principles, guided by the values of our alma mater, and united by our purpose. To defend our motherland from all threats in order to give future generations a better world to live in, free of doubt and fear. By adversities and difficulties, we remain flexible to the barriers of obscurity through cooperation, confidence, and determination. Enlightened in modesty and equality, guided to propel our class to compete and excel. This is confirmed by the next formation, a hard and closing our class numeric, 1 and 9, 2019. With the blessings of our Almighty God, we continue to improve and maintain brilliance that is likely to serve as leaders of selfless service to God and country. Upholding the roadmap of the Academy, we remain motivated to continually aim to be unsurpassed, remembered for our life of our accomplishments and excellence. We are indeed the race of fearless warriors, the Mabalasi class of 2019. For the years to come, our class will be part of the heritage of this gala institution that has made excellence as a way of life. This is our contribution to the severity of our state and liberty of the Filipino people. We are the living legacy of what is known as the noble protectors of the land. Cadets are unsmiling, but behind those tough and masculine personality, there is always more love that we are capable to give, more hope that we are capable to have, more passion that we are capable to unleash and plot out into the world. We just don't show it to you obviously, but make you feel it in a military manner. is a person who appreciates music. Each one of us has their own talent, be it in singing, acting, or dancing. Music soothes our souls. It gives us smiles and laughter, and picks us up whenever we feel tired and lonely. Through the noise of our rifles, the heavy thumps and thoughts of our drums, one cannot possibly imagine how we can find and retain the melodies in our hearts. Unknown to many, we treasure, cultivate, and celebrate camaraderie with one passion that gives life to the academy, be it at twilight or dawn. The 100 Metro every December, the morning serenades are exclusive manifest of cadets romantic and poetic souls. The note in front of you, ladies and gentlemen, signifies the role of music in our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for the hardest part of the trip.
comes from somewhere where begins end. And so, everything must come to an end. Oh. Oh, our performance is a no exception. We will give you a promise that someday we will be back. To our beloved audience, friends, tourists, trainers, and classmates, it is with sincere gratitude for having inspired us to strive hard and move on. To all of you who have been an inspiration and our source of strength, the ones who never falter to give you support and encouragement the times we needed the most. To all of you who have shed their lives and to seek our destiny to the darkness of our path. You will always be a part of our journey as you can be the travel on the road of our lives. No replies to say for the letters C and U. C and U. We take our hats off as we thank you all for watching and we hope to enjoy the normal performance. Papapanood ko to sa tatay ko, sundalo yun. Sa? Sa tatay ko. Sundalo na nga ako. Sundalo yung tatay ko kasi. The community commander orders the company to pass in review. The members of the Black Platoon are Anata Bibonquito, Diane Santos, Mission Padawan, Alvita Mosquita, Rea Granada, Kenneth Kayaha, Victor Ogano, Abigail Arifan, Victor Quito Jr. Fidel Castro Jr., Jansen Tanto, Caloy Amparado, Sara Escobio, Jessica Kili, Crisanto Cajayo, Maisha Resentes, Angel Mendones, Sherlyn Resede, Aileen O, Trisha Pascual, Nathan Bertati, Stanley Noval, Rafael O, Cheso Malago, Kim Sapoay, Carlo Amo, Elena Tapunos, Dari Lutan, Stodolfo Panastas, Michael Regalario, Jamaico Malo, and Peter Lapoco. Members of the White Platoon are Kenneth Young, Joseph Bernal, Louis Sanchez, Ija Sigilina, Ipani Vago, Carmen Tonara, Sonigoy Arenas, Raf Magallanes, Andrew Manuel, Ergen Tauta, Angelo Gassin, Edison Cavitas, Rumen Gubatanga, Jeffrey Tumaya, Shane Gomez, Donna Manzano, Angelique Passos, Orsi Blanagano, Lloyd Romain, Maria Angelica Edwin, Ipani Fashol, Ruben Subitao, Carissa Lima, Gia Bobao, Jeric Adele, Raptor Flamires, Kimberly Bakuli, Pena Respantay, Glenn Maratao, J.B. Benepetol, Jerome Espiritu, James Barranco, and Jeremy Pagia. Ladies and gentlemen, 
as in front of you is the Sonicum Company of PME Malasi Class of 2019, headed by its company commander, Brian Arnold Berigna, with his staff, Nicolas Crisanto Gusaiko, Don Preza, and Errol Kalimpo. Black Platoon Leader, Warren Mayo. White Platoon Leader, Christian Galicia, with the company first sergeant, John Dubumbano. The members of the speaker's board are François Manuel Cagasan, Francis Ivan Di Matera, Rachel Lee Onomayo, and Glenn Mark Petitia. We would like to acknowledge our reviewing officer, Jonah yeah. D. Fernandez, Major, Corps of Professors, and the men behind this performance, Sanctuary Officer in Charge, Marcella O. De La Paz, Major, Philippine Army, Sanctuary Overall Cadet in Charge, Cadet First Class, Brenda and Senio, CCAFB. Yeah. 